Yo, what's up guys, it's Ryan, and today we're going to be making some music. Um, I just got a, uh, an acoustic guitar, which is actually the first acoustic guitar I've ever owned, so um, I'm pretty pretty pumped about that. It's a, uh, in case you're wondering, it's a Taylor uh, 214 CEK Deluxe. Um, fantastic guitar. I'm loving it so far. But we're gonna use and abuse this thing in uh, in the track we're gonna do today. Um, so I'm thinking we're gonna lean more into like that folky sort of pop stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of acoustic guitar, a lot of live instruments or like VSTs of live instruments. Not so much synths, you know, um, that sort of thing. Um, that's kind of what I'm thinking. So I've got. This uh, this chord progression that I think could work uh, pretty okay, and it goes something like this. Er. something along those lines um and this guitar just sounds great to me at least so i'm gonna record that and kind of build off of it so or let's find the tempo first that's very loud Yeah, so I'm thinking like 135 is, let's go 136, um, it's probably a reasonable tempo for this. Alright, let's go ahead and uh, record, and for recording guitars I have to, or recording audio into Ableton really, I have to switch something on my interface, so I should be in your left ear right now, and my guitar will come through your right. Um, so let's get this done. Just wanted to explain what was happening. That wasn't great. Something like that, and uh, we're gonna loop it or double track it rather. Ah. was rough. Ah. I think I'm actually going to do diamonds on one of them, maybe. Like something like that. All right, cool. All right. Cool. Um, pan left and right. Yeah. 
Yeah, so something like that. Um, and in case you're wondering, I'm plugged right in to uh, my Kemper, which is running basically like a DI box, essentially. Um, so this is like the guitar plug straight in, and it sounds great. Um, I'm super happy with that. All right, let's grab an Omnisphere and find like a uh, a bell sound. I'm thinking. Let it load. And I really want a, like a Glock, Glockenspiel, Glockenspiel. So. Um. My keyboard wasn't working. Let's see if it does now. There we go. Not that. Something closer to that, I think. So. So something kind of like plinky, like that. Um, let's. As kind of cheesy as that melody is, I think for this style of music it could work. Um, I'm gonna make sure everything's recording fine real fast. Alright, cool. Um, just wanted to be sure. I'll actually quantize that. I want to mess with the sound a little bit. The velocities are kind of all over the place, so I'm going to level those out. So this this particular style, the the folky indie stuff is beyond simple. So there will be, end up being like three instruments going at a time, and that's a, a little bit of an exaggeration, but not a lot, you know. Actually, I'll just I'll send this to the. this to the right or to, to the left I said right as I was panning a left um, and let me take a drink I'll probably uh, layer that little melody with uh, an electric guitar like super clean um, with a bunch of reverb on it um, Let's actually go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to switch my amp over to a, uh, or switch my camper over to like an amp and not a DI box. I'm going to grab a guitar. 
And let me uh, make sure it's in tune real fast. switch over the interface so I can record this real fast so the sound I'm gonna go with like a So I, I kind of like when the notes are fighting each other, like right there. So I think I'm going to record it in like that. A metronome would be nice. recorded it twice just to have it. I'll pan that to the right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and record or uh, save this. My bad. Folky um what key? It's E major. Sure. something like that. Just 
line up everything. Make it perfect. Because I'm going to have this as basically like a background thing, I'm thinking. Um, need to get that sustain pedal automation out, though. superior drummer because I feel like this is the type of stuff it does really well with um, versus like get good get good is pretty uh, is fantastic for like rock and stuff but not this really soft kind of thing um There we go. Um, so we're gonna have just super soft uh, drums in the background. Maybe even like four on the floor. Okay, maybe not that. It's a little too like after it, you know. something like that. With like super soft hats on the metronome basically. play with some some sample selection because that snare is a little I like I love it but it's a little too um, like tight and high pitched that's that kick could be a little bit bigger yeah something like that Um, or I'll, yeah, I'll just use the same snare, but but pitch down, I guess. Um, if, it, if it works, it works. And then I want like super washy symbols. some toms stuff like lower toms
I'm gonna have to tune these probably. Might be cool also. Oh, these are the chords, by the way. It's a uh, one, two, four um, in the key of E major. So it's like the one, uh, which is the E major, to an F sharp minor, um, which is F sharp, A, C sharp, E, G sharp. So it's actually an F sharp um, minor nine. Then it goes to this um, A. A9 chord, kind of back and forth, you know? Um, and then this thing has the little 3-4 um, on it. Now a uh, a bass would be would be nice. So let me switch over everything I need to, so I can record bass. Um, plug in the right pedal board. I'm in tune. All right, and then I'm going to switch over the interface and Um, let's see, let me get a, let me get a click. something like that pretty straightforward right now I think that's fine
sure. I think. Let me listen back. There's something in there that I don't really like, but I think I might actually be able to EQ it out. I think it's coming from the reverb, but I think I got most of it. Alright, one more thing. Grab a contact. This is going to be like the intro for, or in my head, it's going to be. And I like making this. This is, it's just like fun and easy, you know? So I've got two ideas, either an organ or a piano. We'll see which one works better. So I'm going to automate, I'm going to try to at least. Oh, so it's kind of the opposite of what I thought. something like that you know and for those of you who don't know that's the rotary speed um, or rotator speed for the organ this thing right here um, let's actually try I'm actually gonna try adding a piano as well just have three keys as like a just a massive bed 
um, for the rest of the uh, the sound, you know. Let's see. But I'm gonna make the piano, I think, pretty sparse. Let's take the velocities. Whoops. It's my bad. That's a, a little bit much. Oh, uh, the uh, it's getting automated. So I accidentally copied the automation over. Whoops. Um, something, something cool I think I want to do is, uh, and this will, this will kind of take it into, like, twangy country territory, but I think that might be neat. Um, and it's not really, like, it's not like I'm going to put in, like, a, like a chicken picking guitar part, you know? But I do think having a 
like doubling up on the side where the acoustic is just like holding the chords like like on on that doubling that up with um just a regular like from an electric you know especially like a, a telly electric I think that might be worth exploring. So, this is the sound dog in that. Like that. So, pretty country, you know. <laughs> if I didn't suck. There we go. But layering that up with... Uh, that guitar that's panned to the left. So putting this over there. And like the lead guitar thing that's doing the is already panned to the right. So this would be another kind of counterbalance to that. So let's explore. Add a metronome. I think it sends it too much into like country rock realm, so I'm actually gonna I'm gonna record it with just wholeness and on a less bright pickup. If I played the right note first. everything use the second takes of everything that I already done
Um, so that would be like the intro, add locator intro. Um, and then right here, the verse would start. Verse one. And I'm thinking the drums would keep going. The bass would keep going. need those crashes. variation on yeah, something like this tambourine loop oh yeah that's almost exactly what I wanted so layer this up on the snares like a that um, we have a lot of reverb there's a room reverb specifically um, maybe it's every other That's a little bit. Yeah, I think I like that more than like everyone. Also a snap of some sorts. I'm just gonna go ahead and make it like a percussion group. Snap. Um I think that there's some snaps in this one of the one of these has it where are they because I, I know one of these um what's it called that sound packs has a bunch of snaps if I can find it oh these might be really good for layering also. I'm just gonna snap and 
Yeah, like where's that? Showing places. Where's that? See boots and claps, I knew. I knew they were somewhere. <laughs> I just closed it. Alright. I'm going to have it on the same time as the tambourine. Like that. Also going to use a bunch of reverb on it, but a different flavor. I think there's a little bit too much high end in that tambourine. probably put in a different bass part realistically something that's pretty out of the way I think I want the keys to still be on though So basically, I want everything but the kick drum in that, in that, in that reverb. Sorry for hitting the mic right there, but maybe like a...
Because this needs one more thing. I'm not sure exactly what it needs though. Let's But for sure, I, I like that to land after the verse on the two, like right here. Into a, the chorus, whatever the chorus ends up being. Um, let's let's listen. Definitely needs a drum fill. So let's write one. What's that? It needs one thing. Um, this might <laughs> this might suck more than anything, but let's actually try um, a synth, like a really, really light one, though, on like an arpeggiator. This might suck, just full disclaimer. Um, actually, I take that back, it's going to suck a lot. So let's just be prepped for that. But you never know until you try. So I'm gonna turn it way down, grab an arpeggiator, put it on eighths, I think, put the gate up, and then I want it a bunch of voices pretty tight, um, and then like a filter pluck. I think I was, I was right. 
sucks a lot <laughs> um, I think this needs to be kept like relatively natural like um, real instruments or like VST is a real instruments I don't think a synth has like any spot in this at all but I just wanted to see if it did And then it would be in the chorus. Um, go ahead and write in yeah. Why are you not making noise? I guess I guess it's just not gonna make noise right now. I'm gonna write in the two chord. Oh, I don't want that sound actually. that sound either. So something like that. Uh, that's very uncomfortable. It's been an hour and some change, so I think I have to call it because uh, 
if I try to upload a file bigger than that, my internet probably won't stay up long enough to uh, make it happen. So, hope you enjoyed. I'm going to be probably recording a video right after this of me continuing to work on it. Um, so, hopefully the videos will be up relatively back to back, maybe. Maybe on, I'll probably upload the next one tomorrow, honestly. So, I hope you enjoyed. This is a super fun, uh, kind of cheesy, but like in a good way. Uh, if it was like, let's see. I think the only thing that keeps it from being cheesy is that the chords are a little melodramatic. Um, like the... Like it's not just, if it was just like basic shapes, like... Like there'd be no coming back from it, but it's like... Which makes it a little bit interesting, you know? Um, so yeah, really enjoying having an acoustic guitar already. Uh, it was a good investment. And now I need to find a folky indie singer, because that'd be fun. <laughs> to like release an EP of this um, that would be a lot of fun and I think I'm actually gonna try to do that now because this is this is where my my brain has been for the last couple months is um just kind of fun acoustic and organic sounds um, so yeah hope you enjoyed uh, watching if you have any questions let me know if you are a vocalist who likes to sing in this sort of style let me know and um i'm gonna get recording on the next one uh right now so yeah like comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one bye